is Frank Campesino with the Scoop News. It's being reported that the North Port Police Chief Vespa has fired the reformist captain they brought in to try to fix the troubled agency down there. Um, this is being reported by the Herald where they said basically he, he Vespa actually hired Steve Ubalaker back in 2014, and he did this to try to regain public confidence because they were going through a lot of issues actually through the past couple of years. Um, so they hired this, uh, what they call the ethics czar, and made him a special inspector, I guess, of down there in Northport. Um, he was pretty seasoned. He came out of Charlotte County. Also, he did some time with the FDLE. Um, I guess last week, Vespa called him in and basically gave him a terminate letter. Um, it's being reported by the Herald that it was due to his management style and philosophical differences with the organization and the vision that they want to take Northport Police Department in. They tried to meet, I guess, around February 7th to try to iron things out, but it just didn't go all that well. Um, you Bellacker um, documented his conversation and he noticed some concerns he had with uh, bad acts by Chief Vespa. Um, one would be the 89-year-old uh, Virginia Bland um, fleeing police and an arrest Ublicker found to be of great concern. And they have actually a few things on here. It's a pretty lengthy write-up. I do encourage you to go there and read it because they talk about the a fleeting and eluding case, um, a propensity to for violence, and it's... Um, doesn't really it, it paint a pretty picture. Now, was the question is going to be, did Vespa get rid of him because this guy was calling Vespa out and just basically saying, hey, you're doing a horrible job. You're not running the MPPD the way it should be ran. Or did he get rid of him because it wasn't going in the direction and all that fluff that he added to it? You be the judge. This has been Frankie Abrazino with Scoop News. Make your way over to the Herald and check out that article. Who wrote that? Uh, Lee Williams, the gun writer. Good guy. Everybody have a great day. This has been Frankie with the Scoop News.